Hey guys, so I just got home from work and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and share my new closet with you. And not that it's anything exciting, but it's about half the size of what my old closet was. So if you didn't know, we moved house since I shot my last closet makeover video. Now my closet is half the size of that old closet. And I thought that old closet was small, but now it's really small. So I had kind of a tricky time at first getting used to this new closet, but I downsized and really worked hard to organize everything really well. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. And hopefully, maybe if you have a tiny closet too, maybe it'll give you some ideas ideas of what to do with yours. So let's get started. It's right back here and I'm taking you in there right now. So here is my new closet. Um, it's about half the size of my previous closet, but we're going to have to make it work. So I'm going to get working and we will see what we can come up with. So this is the before. <laughs> So I'm much happier with how it is now. Um, as you can see here, I replaced those doors with curtains and a rod. Uh, the curtains I got at Lowe's. Out here, I just have my little rug and my storage boxes, hat boxes. Those are from Ross, um, just for extra storage space. And then here is my old vanity mirror, which I just put on the wall. And of course, my leopard print chicken picture. And in here, I will give you a little chore. Now, this closet is half the size of my old closet. So, and my old closet was small. So this is extra small. And it took a lot of organizing and I did downsize a bit and just try to get everything, uh, you know, anything that I wasn't using, I basically just took to um, Women Helping Women Shelter and gave it to them and donated it. So I just like to have only things that I absolutely love in my closet. I don't want any excess stuff. So a lot of the organizers here that you'll see were in my old closet. I only have a few new pieces like these leopard print ones that I got after I moved. So over here I have my shoe organizer and I don't have very many shoes at all. Um, at least I think compared to most people. I have a few wedges and I have my sandals, running shoes, and a pair of dress shoes and that's it for shoes for me. Oh wait, I do have a pair of Uggs but those are out in the front room. Um, down here I have extra bags for shopping, extra shopping bags, um, just because they don't give out bags on Maui so we always bring our own reusable bags. This here, this little set of drawers, I got from Ross and it was about $30. And so I just keep all my shorts in here. And let's see, there's more shorts because you guys know it's hot here in Hawaii, so I wear lots of shorts and tank tops. Um, down here, I do have pants. I've got my leopard print, my camo. I've got, um, let's see, I've got my jeans, leggings, and I have like little workout shorts down there too. And over on this side, I keep like bras, panties, and then up here I have accessories and jewelry. So I've got my jewelry in there, some different accessories up there. And these little boxes are so cute. I think I showed these in a haul a while back. I got these at Ross. They were only like around five or six dollars each. They each had different compartments. I think I have three or four of these um, around the house. So those work great for organizing. And these I had in my old closet as well. And so I, you know, I still keep my sun hats in there, bikinis in that one. And then up here, this is another leopard print box that matches um, my other little leopard print organizers down there. I got it at Ross for around six or seven dollars, I think. But it's a really nice sturdy box. And you guys know how I love all my fabric boxes, but this is a really like heavy duty one. So I really like this one a lot. So I keep like my long sleeve shirts and my hoodies in there. Just things that I have to grab really fast in the morning when I'm getting ready for work. And I just gotta grab them, you know, something to keep warm, head out the door. Over here, I have all of my tank tops, um, t shirts, and let's see. Oh, these hangers I got at, these are like those fuzzy ones, so like little things like little tank tops and little straps like that hang on there really well. And I got those, like a couple boxes of them at Costco. Um, they were pretty inexpensive, I think they were like $10 a box or something. And up here I have, let's see, well this is my luggage. So my luggage I got on Costco's website. And I love that. I love the, you know, you know I love my leopard print. And then here, I probably actually need to clean out these top shelf boxes because I haven't looked in here for a while. Okay, so I've got, 
Looks like I just have a couple like warm vests in here, like kind of like fleece vests. And then on this side, let's see what's in here. I think I have socks and stuff in here. Oh, and I have like a skirt, oh, and hats. Beastie Boys, I love my Beastie Boys. And what else? Yeah, socks, yeah, very exciting. And my luggage case is empty, I don't have anything in there. So that actually could serve as storage for like, I don't know, some of my winter clothes because I do have a couple of big winter jackets that we actually have in storage bags that are not in here. So those could actually get put in there. And then I have all of my stuff contained in here. So, oh, um, let's see, I guess we haven't done this side down here. All right, so down in this corner, I have another piece of luggage here. I use this when I'm traveling just on like the weekends, if I go over to Honolulu or something, it's just a big, like an oversized handbag, sort of like a really oversized handbag. And it's leopard print and it has gold sparkles and gold hardware and I just love that thing. So that is my kind of weekend trip bag. And then in here, I don't even think I have anything in this yet. This is the bag that I got at Ross recently, and it's hot pink and leopard, and it's the same print, or same leopard print as these, so I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. It's just too darn cute to pass up. So that, and yeah, it's empty, nothing in there, so that's actually extra space if I need to store anything. And this, gosh, I don't even know what's in here, it's not labeled. Oh, of course. Oh man, if, if you guys didn't know that I love leopard, anyone who's watching this who doesn't know me yet, oh boy. So this is a leopard print shrug, faux fur, and I absolutely love that thing. Alright, so I think I covered everything. Um, as you can see, pink and leopard print obsessed and proud of it. So here I can close my curtains. And so no one has to look at my stuff, my clothes, everything can be hidden away, all nice and neat. So that's everything. I try to run a tight ship. Everything has its place. If it doesn't have a place, then it's either gotta go or it, it needs to find a place. I can't have anything like out loose or laying on the floor or anything. It drives me crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got some ideas from this in case you have a really tiny closet too, like me. Um, and okay. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.